so I'm here with Moises Benitez. I said that right, right? Yeah. Awesome. Right. I always say people's name wrong. Um, first off, you're fighting this Saturday. So how do you feel going into the fight? How's your weight and everything? Oh, my weight is perfect. I weigh like right now 140 and a half. So I have to weigh 139. So I don't have to kill myself. Uh, try to make my weight feel perfect in my weight division right now. Okay, and do you think that like that maybe coming from the amateurs to the pros, people might not be used to the weight cut, so it's kind of nice just to be where, like right on weight right now? Yeah, that's that's perfect. That's what I like pros because um, pro fights because you have to make 140, you fight in 140 exactly. Like my first amateur, I fight, I was in a fight in 150, and I weighed 146, and my opponent weighed 160, man. It was crazy, and I still fight him. I made a great fight that fight, so amateurs kind of hard to make weight. People they will say 150 and they make 10 pounds over. So. What what was the power difference like that for your first amateur fight? Like I mean that must have been a crazy adjustment. Yeah, it is. It doesn't feel that much like power. Like what you feel like when you get hit, you feel like like something real hard is hitting you. Like I can't even explain it how it feels. But it feels kind of weird. It doesn't feel like a snap or a quick punch. You just feel like wow, that's a punch. Yeah. It's kind of hard in the, uh, when they come a little bit, you know, in weight. Okay, and who are some of the boxers? Like, I know you're Mexican-American, right? Yeah. Were you born in America? I born in Mexico. Okay, well, that, I didn't know that. So what, what more, can you tell me more about that? When did you come to America? I came when I was, like, pretty eight years old. Eight or eight. Yeah, I was eight years old. So I came first. I was living in L.A. for, like, almost four years and I moved to San Jose and I started boxing here so I boxed in LA for like almost two years when I was little how long have you been at Dreamland boxing almost seven almost eight years eight years so I take it you got a good relationship with Sarge oh, someone like it's like my well not almost like my family it's my family Sarge and Maria they're like my family I'm more like 24 7 with them so it's gonna be uh, nothing new when you turn pro. It's going to be the same people that have yeah, been around Yeah, it's going to be the same people on the corner. Okay. And favorite Mexican boxing legend? Favorite mom, Barrera. Why? Antonio, oh man, he has an ancient killer. He get hit and he just try to knock you out, man. That's what I love, man. Like, he just go, you hit him one or two punches and he just reacted with five or seven punches back. That's what I like the way Barrera fight. And last question, what's your prediction for Percy Peterson uh, coming up Saturday? What do you think is going to happen in this fight? Uh, I'm going to knock him out. If something else happens, it happens. But that's my, that's my goal, and I have it in my mind clear that I'm going to knock him out. Any round? Any round, whenever it comes. But you're not calling around. No, nah, I'm not calling around. I'm pretty calling, I hope, first. So we'll see what happens. I don't want to wait all the way to the fourth round. Okay. You don't get paid by the hour? Or you don't get paid by the round? Yeah, that's, it's really what that happened. <laughs> I know.